moved to the midsection, moved up again to the face, and down went Vesserell. Vesserell, who had been so tough, so game, and who seemed so hard to really hurt. But that was it. Now, come on. And uh, here's a well-groomed Javier Muniz. Javier Muniz with 17 wins, six losses. He's had two draws, eight knockouts, whereas Duran, being introduced by Marv Brooks, the ring announcer, lost only one. But he reversed that decision with a knockout over Esteban de Jesus, who was in the ring as Escalera won the previous bout in the eighth round, if you just joined us, a knockout. The referee for this bout will be Tom Kelly. The two judges are Harry Cicchini and Terry Moore. Let's go up in the ring and see if we can hear the ref. I want you to both protect yourself at all times. In case of a knockdown, you go to a neutral corner. Don't come out until I call you out. Are there any questions? Jake Hands, come out at the bell, and good luck to the both of you. And for Duran, the world champion, a great one. You watch him fight, and you'll learn a lot. And tonight at 142, which is very heavy, the lightweight limit being 135 pounds, but I don't think that'll bother him. His opponent at 24 years of age is in at 141 and three quarters. Here's round one, non-title bout, scheduled to go 10. About two inches taller is Javier Muniz. Watch this classic style of the fighter if you're watching in color in the brown trunks and gold. Now with his back to you. Beautiful left hook already, two of them in a row, Duran. Nice left hook showing a little class by Muniz. Lightweights with quick hands. Watch the speed. Forty-seven knockouts by Duran on the left. You can see that when he tries to throw a classic right left that he's beautifully set to get power in his punches. Even though he was, goes backward occasionally, he gets set. Look at the width of his stance. All right, break clean, break. Come on, man, back off. Ring announcer, Mike. His name is Tom Kelly. Let him go, let him go. Come on, man, let him go. Come on, clean break. Let's go. Come on, come on. But he's in the red trunks on the right, has gone on, 10 rounds on, eight out. times. They call him the rubber man. He's never been knocked down. And he's not in awe of the world champion here in the first round. About a minute and a half to go. Took blocked beautifully by the gloves of Muniz on the far side. Five point must on, is the scoring on, here in the state of Maryland. On, Mandatory three knockdown rule waived. You cannot be saved by the bell except the final round. All right, let him go. Come on, let the arms go. Come on, men. Come on. Break out. That's it. left hooks. Oh, right hand lead. Not a knockdown as Duran is going cleverly. Pushed him down after a right hand shot. No, he's giving the mandatory eight. Mandatory eight, okay. It was a combination of a good punch and then a pull to the canvas. They have about 15 seconds remaining in the first round of a scheduled 10. Marcel giving final instructions to the world champion Roberto Duran on the right. Fighting a very game, Javier Muniz, born in Chihuahua, Mexico, now fighting out of Los Angeles. He was knocked down in the first round. This is a non-title 10-rounder. That was a blocked left hook. Muniz relishes this opportunity to fight a world champion. Notice how erect he is. Those punches caught right, below the belt on the hip. Let's go. Come on, man. I got you. Come on. Clean break. Right, let's go. Let him go. Come on. Coming up, of course, world heavyweight champion Muhammad Ali. 
And the challenger, Vangelista. Muhammad Ali weighed in at 221 and a quarter. Vangelista, 209 and a half. Come on, you're free. Punch. Let the arms go. Come on. Taking every punch that Duran has thrown thus far. Good right hand lead by Moniz. Duran against the rope. Returned professional at age 16. That was high on the, came up on the temple, that right hand lead. A good uppercut by Duran on the ropes. About a minute and a half remaining in the second round. 12,000 fans watching here at Capitol Center, just outside of Washington, D.C. Freak this week here in the Maryland area. Seattle Slough arrived today. Got the second leg of the Triple Crown, hopefully. A weakness to be heard on ABC 5 to 6 Eastern Time this Saturday. Duran on the far side at 142. Seven pounds over the lightweight limit in this non-title bout. May have slowed him up some. Less than a minute remaining in the second round, we'll be going to a station break immediately following this action. Moniz taking everything that Duran has thrown thus far. Body punch by come Duran. On, punch out of there. Come on, you're free. Punch out. Come on. All right, hold it, hold it. The third one. All right, let's go, you are. Let him go. Come and he's on. absorbing a come lot on. of punches, punch but out. taking them all. Come on. Punch out. We'll return after this from our local stations. KOC. The world of professional boxing Olympic champion Sugar Ray Leonard, native of Baltimore. One on uh, Saturday here on ABC, Live World of Sports, his second pro fight. Watching the veterans now, someday. Perhaps meeting one of the two. Duran, throwing everything at the knees, who is taking it all. Javier Moniz, brother of Mondo Moniz, who has fought for the welterweight championship twice, ranked number three in the world. Repeating here in the third round. This is a 10 rounder, non titled bout. Duran has defended his title 10 times, all by knockouts. Gives you an idea of what the champion is like, but the challenger doesn't pay any attention to it. That punch to catch his breath. We noticed after the end of round two coming to his corner, Moniz breathing very, very hard. Very spindly legs. They don't look strong enough to stand up ten rounds against this puncher. And as you've probably right, have seen out, on your home screen, high on the side of the head around the temple. That'll take its toll a little bit later on. There was another right, but he caught a right in his midsection in return. A left hook that would drop most fighters, believe me. Ran with his back to us. He's fought in Los Angeles, New York, Miami Beach, Erie, Pennsylvania, Paris, Panama City, San Juan. Punch to the head was blocked. That one, too. Got about 40 seconds remaining in the third round. Seven knockouts by Duran, but Moniz taking it all. Come on, man. Hold it. Bottom 
right of your screen. Ten seconds. End of round three. All right, hold it. I got you. Back again at Capitol Center, just outside of the nation's capital, world champion lightweight, Roberto right, Duran on, with man. his back to us. Scored a knockdown in the first round against 23-year-old Javier Muniz in the red trunks, if you're watching in color. The second bout in a parade of champions. The first bout, Alfredo Escalera, San Juan, Puerto Rico, successfully defended his junior lightweight title in a heck of a bout. We hope you saw it in the eighth round, a knockout. One knockdown thus far. This is a non-title bout for Roberto Duran on the right, the champion. Muhammad Ali and Alfredo Evangelista coming up. Schedule 15-round World Heavyweight Championship fight. Tom Kelly moves in. Punches to the head, sometimes falling short. now trying to find the target occasional body blow and pretty strong punches now by Muniz eye on the cheekbone Muniz now breathing heavily having trouble holding the mouthpiece in Whoops. fighter here in the fourth round. All right, that's the end of the fourth round. And now, putting on those white shoes, getting ready for another title defense. His ninth since he regained the title, the man who has won over $40 million in the ring, Muhammad Ali. That's Angelo Dundee on the left great trainer great advisor to this tremendous athlete who weighed in at 221 and a quarter quite a difference from the 230 he weighed here about a year ago on uh, kentucky derby eve when he won a disputed decision against jimmy young who defeated george foreman right here on abc he says he's scared of course you are Ali once made the statement, any fighter has a chance that comes in the ring against him if he has the courage to do so. So uh, I'm sure the wagering is off the board of Angelista, off the board uh, underdog, as here you see Monday Night Baseball on ABC. Now through September on Monday nights regularly, the New York Mets and uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates with the Boston Red Sox at Yankee Stadium against the Yankees. We're in round five now of a scheduled 10 rounder, non title to just join us against the rope, world champion Roberto Duran of Panama. His opponent, Javier Muniz. Muniz has been down once 